The plot below represents the function f of x, and we're asked to solve for x. And so here we're given three function values or three function outputs, and therefore we're solving for x, which means we're determining the function input that gives the provided function value or function output. When we have the graph of a function on the coordinate plane, we always find the function inputs along the horizontal axis, and because we're given the function f of x, we know the input variable is x, and we always find the function values or function outputs along the vertical axis. So looking at our first example, notice how we're given f of x equals four. So because four is the function value or function output, to determine the value of x or the input that gives this function value, we locate four on the vertical axis, which is here, and then we travel horizontally straight to the function, which in this case would be to the left, to this point on the function. To find the input that gives a function value or function output of four from here, we go straight down to the horizontal axis. Notice how the input is negative three when the function value or output is positive four. Also notice how the coordinates of this point or the ordered pair for this point would be negative three comma four. So once again, when the input is negative three, the output or function value is four. So if f of x equals four, we now know x equals negative three. Notice how once we found the function output of four on the vertical axis, we did not move downward toward the function because if we move down, notice how the output would be different. The output is four all along this horizontal line. Next, we have f of x equals two. So because the function value or output is two, we locate two on the vertical axis here. We move horizontally straight to the function, which in this case would be to the right, to this point here. To find the input, when the function value or function output is two, we go straight down to the horizontal axis. Notice how the input is four when the output is two. The coordinates of this point, or the ordered pair for this point, would be four comma two. When the function input is four, the function value or function output is two, which means if f of x equals two, then x equals four. For our last example, we have f of x equals three. So because three is the function output or function value, we locate three on the vertical axis. Notice this time, when we do that, this is where the function crosses the vertical axis. So we're already on the function, but we follow the same procedure to find the input. When the output is three, we go straight to the horizontal axis. Notice how the input is zero. Also notice how the coordinates are ordered pair for this point would be zero comma three. When the input is zero, the output or function value is three. And therefore, if f of x equals three, we know x, the input, must be equal to zero. I hope you found this helpful.